There's a looming educational crisis for deaf people in Scotland. That's the warning from a charity supporting deaf children who say the number of specialised teachers has fallen drastically. There are fears it could cause issues for young people across the country who won't get the support they need to achieve the same qualifications as their hearing classmates. Here's Kirsten Tate. A star. Stars, a star. It's a really lonely journey when you have that diagnosis. Just after Lewis was born, he failed a hearing test in hospital. Six weeks later, doctors discovered that he'd been born profoundly deaf. I lived his first 20 years in 20 seconds, because you jump to, where's he going to go to school? How's he going to manage education? How's he going to work? Will he ever hear? Is there an option for him to have any support? Santa! Now aged four, Lewis is able to hear with the help of his cochlear implants. You clever boy, you He goes to a normal nursery, thanks to regular visits from a teacher off the deaf. There's sort of three prongs, if you like, supporting the families at the younger age, preschool. Once they're in school, it's checking that their the children are able to access the full curriculum. And then thirdly is kind of making sure that the mainstream teachers understand the child's needs and how they can support them. But there are concerns for other children like Lewis. Across Scotland, there's been a 40% decline in teachers of the deaf, while almost half are due to retire in the next 10 years. A charity predicts young people in Scotland will be twice as likely as their hearing classmates to leave school with no qualifications, and half as likely to go on to university. The National Deaf Children Society says action needs to be taken urgently as thousands of deaf children are left to struggle through school alone. We were shocked to see the scale of the decline in teachers of the deaf. We want local authorities and the Scottish Government to work together to guarantee that there will be jobs for teachers who do the qualifications that they need to be a teacher of the deaf. The Scottish Government say all of their teachers can support children with additional needs, including those affected by deafness. One, two, Andrew, make sure the back of your hand is out. They're also offering more sign language qualifications. But Victoria says Lewis and her family are the lucky ones. There are still fears with fewer teachers in the profession. More families could be left on their own. Kirsten Tate, STV News.